What's going on YouTube? So in the expansive world of crossovers, there are frankly a lot of crossovers that kind of blend together. However, that is not the case with this Volkswagen Atlas Crossport, Volkswagen's most stylish crossover. So with a couple extra features for 2021 and the same really eye-catching design, is this the best mid-size crossover for you and your family? Let's go ahead and find out. So as the name implies, this Atlas Crossport is of course very much related to the three row Atlas. And with that does mean a lot of the exterior styling elements will be similar to that three row model. So up here in the front, you'll notice that typical Atlas grille. Uh, you've got the large fascia with the three chrome bars that run across it and below the headlights. Now, since we have the R-Line package added to this SEL Premium, and you can also add that to two other trim levels as well, by the way, when you add that, that's gonna make this front end look a whole lot more sleek. So down here at the bottom, you remove the rugged looking piece and go for a really sleek piano black finish that, like I said, makes this look very nice and very sporty. Now, moving next to our headlights, these are gonna be full LED across the entire lineup of the Cross Sport. Uh, of course, as you can see, you do also have your daytime running lights. However, the only element that's not LED is your turn signal. Now, of course, with the big emphasis being on design for this, you've got a wide series of very stylish wheel options. So you start out with a base 18 inch alloy, and you've got a lot of different choices as you move up through the trim levels. And that all comes to this right here, which is a 21 inch contrast alloy. That's really, really large for this category of vehicle. And that comes with this SEL Premium. As we move up, we have a really nice and classy cross sport branding right there. And then up here at the mirrors, you are gonna have standard heating and standard blind spot monitoring. And if you opt for this loaded model, that's where you'll get power folding. Now here at the side is where you're really gonna tell this is an Atlas Cross Sport as opposed to just a regular Atlas is because you have that sport back design similar to something like the Audi Q8, which of course is a lot more expensive of a vehicle than this. It's around three inches shorter than the Atlas if you're curious about the overall length. Now walking around to the rear itself, I'm a really, really big fan of the way this looks. It has a very classy and tasteful look to it. It's not overly flashy, but it just has a very tasteful look in a way that most Volkswagens do. So here in the center, we have our Atlas branding. We have a chrome piece that goes in between the taillights. Speaking of the taillights, these are gonna be full LED. The brake light, turn signal, and reverse light are all LED, which is kind of an odd choice since the front uh, turn signal is not LED. But then if we drop down, you will notice that we have an aggressive rear diffuser. Um, all of the models will get dual fake exhaust outlets. And if we go for the R-Line model, they put this little split in the middle to make it look like fake quad exhaust outlets. Now, as far as your safety systems are concerned for this model, you're gonna have to go to the SEL trim or higher to get all four of the safety systems standard. Uh, otherwise, they will kind of be broken up between the trim levels, but New for 2021 is a traffic jam assistant if you get that adaptive cruise control system, so be sure to keep that in mind. Well guys, that's gonna sum up the really classy exterior design of this Atlas Cross Sport. Let's go ahead and check out the inside, but before we do that, you know what would really make my day? If you hit that subscribe button down below, it really provides us a lot more opportunities and it doesn't cost you a thing, so please, please go ahead and do that. Now first coming up to this Cross Sport Atlas, you will find a smart entry system with the typical Volkswagen key fob on all but the very base model. Additionally, you have remote start if you choose the SE Tech package or above. And then to get inside the vehicle itself, just reach behind the handle and it will unlock. And when you do, the mirrors will also fold out. Oh, 
Okay, so let's take a look inside this cabin. At first glance, you can already tell this is very similar to the three-row Atlas, uh, which is definitely a good thing because that does have a nice cabin. And one of the nicest elements of the cabin are the seats. So let's start by talking about the material and color options. So the S model, that's going to come standard with cloth and Titan black. The SE model comes with the VTEX leatherette that adds the color option of beige. And then when you get to the SEL premium, which is what we have as the top model, that's where you'll get the real leather. Uh, and you have some contrast options of black, beige, or a really cool dark red. Now coming over here to your door trim, you'll notice the contrasting gray leather up here as well. Uh, it's padded right through here. You have a triple stitching detail through here, and then the top part will be soft touch. We have a kind of faux carbon fiber trim that runs through the middle part. And as far as the windows, they're gonna be one touch auto up and down for all four. You have the aluminum pedals since this is the R design. We also have the scuff plate there. And as far as the seats, these are going to be 10-way power adjusting on all but the very base model with the two-way lumbar. And then the SEL and above will throw in the three-person memory seating. Like I was already saying, this is a genuine real leather. Uh, really nice looking seat, very Audi-esque uh, with the contrast uh, color options, stitching, and perforation through here, and very comfortable to set in. Now even though this is not a very tall vehicle, we do have the optional running boards. Uh, so that helps a little bit, even though you won't need them. Alright, so looking around at your cabin materials, they are sufficiently upscale. So across the upper dash, we have a soft touch plastic with a double stitching detail. As we move down to the middle, we have more of that faux carbon fiber with silver trim that runs all around it. Then as we go to our lower areas, it's going to be hard to touch down here. Uh, however, in that typical Volkswagen way, everything is going to fit together absolutely seamlessly and feel tremendously solid. Now to start it up, put your foot on the brake and press the dash mounted button. So right as soon as you start this Atlas up, you will see the digital cockpit professional system. Uh, this is a 10.25 full digital gauge cluster setup, and this is on the vast majority of the cross sport models. Uh, and basically it's a slightly dumbed down version of Audi virtual cockpit. So you still have a lot of the same features, really clear and nice resolution. And then you can do things like click the view button on the steering wheel and change the total design to a bunch of different kinds of information. So really cool setup. Now coming back here to the steering wheel, we have a very nice leather wrap steering wheel. Uh, this model with the R design package, of course, gives you the really nice uh, leather that's perforated, kind of a thick rim, newest Volkswagen emblem. And as far as the wheel itself, it is going to be manual tilt and telescoping, and then heating will be on the SEL trim level or above. Okay, so let's talk about one of the strongest areas, which is interior storage, because this uh, crossboard actually retains all the same storage solutions as the large three-row atlas. So inside this center console we have a massive amount of space. Really nice depth and width, nice felt lining at the bottom, and a USB Type-C. Gotta put it to the test though. Look at that, we can put our coupons completely flat without even folding them over. That is super impressive for this class. Up in front of that, we got our two cup holders. Then we have another large storage bin that slides all the way down through there. It is a wireless phone charging pad as well, and you've got two more USB Type C's and a 12 volt outlet. Now, sliding back here to the shifter, it's just a traditional style shifter, of course. So you pull back for drive, bump over here to the right to do manual shifting. There are no paddles on the steering wheel. And then heading into reverse. You'll first be greeted with a traditional backup camera with active trajectory. However, since this is the SEL Premium, we do have uh, the 360 capability. So you just tap that button right there and that's gonna pull up your 360 view alongside your traditional view. And then back behind that, you have your electronic parking brake. You also have your control knob here for the all-wheel drive system and all the modes associated with that. 
And I did almost forget to mention that this top end model does also come with the parking assistant. All right, so let's move up here to the middle of the dashboard, which will be our climate controls. All but the very base model will come with this dual zone automatic setup. Of course, very simple to use. You just adjust your temperature right there. You got your fan speeds in the middle and your zones through there. Um, additionally, all but the base model will also throw in these heated seats. And then the top end model, the SEL Premium, will give you this seat ventilation. And speaking of features that only the top end model give you, we have the upgraded 480 watt 12 speaker Fender audio system. So we'll go ahead and give that a sample right now. So overall sound quality of this system is absolutely excellent. I have to say this sounds right on par with the nicest Bang & Olufsen sound systems that you get in Audi products. So if you're a big audiophile, definitely uh, recommend going up to this top SEL Premium. Okay, so now we are here at our displays. So what we've got on board is either a six and a half or an eight inch display. Only the base model will have the six and a half inch display. The rest of the models will come with this eight inch display with the latest MIB3 software. So this is one of our 2021 changes is the fact that I have the Android Auto ecosystem up and this is running wirelessly right now. So here's my phone just to prove that to you. Uh, that, like I said, is new and it's for both Android Auto and Apple Car playabilities. As far as the main Volkswagen system, uh, it does have all the typical information and this top end model does also come with the integrated navigation system. Now jumping up here, we do have a frameless auto dimming mirror with a compass and home link universal remotes. And then up here at the very top, our higher end trim level, so that'll be the SEL and above, that's gonna come standard with this panoramic sunroof. You can also option this onto the SE Tech model if you prefer. And as you can see, this is an extremely large piece of glass, goes all the way back past the second row headrest. And of course the front portion does open up. Here's the Atlas Cross Sports rear seat. And let me talk about the space first because there's a lot of it back here. So we're gonna have 40 inches of rear legroom, 38 inches of rear headroom, which is actually larger than the regular three row Atlas because these seats are moved back uh, to give you even more space here in the second row. And I mean, the seat, behind your seating position, I have, I would say a solid, maybe 10 to 10 inches to a foot of space and my feet can slide up underneath the seat and I can just fully stretch out. And these seats do also recline, so I'm just uber, uber comfortable in this Atlas Cross Sports rear seat. Now, as far as the features are concerned back here, um, we do have vents, that's gonna be standard equipment on the Atlas. And then if we drop down, we're also gonna have three stage heated rear seats. That's gonna be an SEL premium touch. And then if we drop down below that, we have two USB ports, uh, USB type C's, and then we also have a regular 115 volt household style outlet. The SEL Premium is also gonna throw in the rear window sunshades, and overall, really no complaints with this rear seat. Bar. Coming up to the tailgate of the Atlas Cross Sport, it is going to be hands-free power, so just wave your foot under the bumper to open it up. And it does work really, really quite well. Now, as far as the space itself is concerned, back here we're looking at 40 cubic feet of space behind the second row seats. If we fold it, it expands to 78 cubic feet. I mean, once again, I sound like kind of probably like a broken record, but there is a lot, a lot of space back here. This puts it above its main rivals like the Chevy Blazer as well as the Ford Edge uh, by quite a bit. And as far as how Volkswagen, uh, the features they put back here, we have lights on both sides. Um, the seats do fold 60-40 split. And if we lift up the carpeted floor, we do have a spare tire. 
SEL trims and higher are going to get the power passenger seat. And then if we open up the glove box, <laughs> here I go, fourth time in a row. This is big. <laughs> if you're seeing a trend, this Atlas Cross Sport is big. So this glove box is just massive. It just eats up our coupons, no problems. And then up top, we have a large sun visor with an LED light, a mirror, and we can also detach and extend. Okay, so that was getting up to 55 miles per hour. So this uh, cross sport comes with two different powertrain options that you can pick between. And, and it pretty much on a lot of the trim levels as well, you have the choice between them. So you have a two liter turbo, four cylinder engine. But what we have today is the 3.6 liter V6 engine. So this is the more powerful option. It's gonna be making 276 horsepower, 266 pound feet of torque, yeah. um, you know, which is pretty good. The four cylinder, if you're wondering, is 235 horsepower. So it's not a huge power discrepancy, but obviously having yeah. a six cylinder is going to, of course, give you an advantage in power. Yeah, and you know, we've never been in that two liter engine, but I would imagine that this has maybe more refinement to the uh, V6 as opposed to just the four cylinder, because um, this is a very, very refined engine. So let's also talk about the transmission. Uh, what we have is an 8-speed automatic transmission, um, you know, similar to what has been used in a lot of different Volkswagen and Audi products. This is a fantastic transmission. It is incredibly smooth, incredibly comfort-oriented, and really just kind of blends right into the background. Which does bring me to a point I wanted to talk about. I know the first time I drove this, I was very curious about this, and I'm sure you might be as well. The driving dynamics. This is a vehicle that looks quite sporty on the outside. Uh, how does it handle um, everyday driving? I will say, because it does share its bones with the three-row Atlas, this is definitely a comfort-oriented vehicle still. So even yeah. though it looks sporty, it's definitely got the emphasis on comfort. Um, so this is a vehicle that feels rather heavy. Um, it also, you know, like I said, is tuned for comfort versus, you know, having handling. So you do have very light steering so definitely um, you know something that is going to be very comfortable for you and your family on an everyday basis even though it still gives you that nice design yeah and that right there is going to be today's air ball is from our perspective we you know we kind of like sporty stuff uh, and with a sporty design like this you might think that that transfers to a sporty driving dynamics but it really doesn't in this atlas so you're gonna have a little bit of a heavier feel <laughs> than what we would like. Right, you know, and it could, at least with the R line like we have with this, you know, it could be a little bit sportier. Yeah. Now, as far as our slam dunk though, it's gonna be related to that. Uh, we're gonna talk about is the styling of this Atlas Cross Sport without sacrificing really the main practicality and space of it. This thing looks great on the outside, but you have a crap ton of space in the back. It really is phenomenal and it's going to fit you and all of your family in there. Alrighty and let's get a sound level reading going 55 miles an hour. Wow. 52.9 decibels. Wow, that is, that's really, really good. <laughs> yeah, I, I, for real. I, <laughs> yeah, I, this definitely feels very luxurious with that sound. And just riding down the road too, like the ride quality is phenomenal. Very comfort oriented. And this has 21 inch wheels right now, you know? Yeah. So that, this is the worst ride quality you could have in this model because we have the largest wheels and it is still supremely comfortable. Yeah. And 
let's go ahead and discuss the fuel economy for this Atlas cross sport. Um, now, this is another area where I could have said our air ball was just because I don't know why what's up with these V6 engines in the Atlas, but uh, the V6 with all wheel drive is coming in at 16, 22, 19. So you certainly will be spending a lot more money at the pump than the competition uh, with V6 engines. Um, so I'm not really sure exactly why this uh, gets as bad a fuel economy as it does, but that is what it is. And front drive is still 19 combined. Uh, if you go for the two liter model, it's gonna be 20 with all wheel drive and 22 miles a gallon combined with front drive with the two liter engine. And you also might be wondering how much does this cost? Because a lot of things that are very stylish tend to <laughs> have a pretty big price tag, but I think you'll be pretty happy with uh, the prices on these. I'll let Mason go ahead and talk about that. Yeah, so the S is going to start at a touch over 30,000, 30,855. Of course, there are a lot, a lot of different trim levels. And then you go all the way up to the SEL Premium model, uh, which is going to start at 46,525. That is with the four cylinder option. And then we have this one with us today. This is pretty much fully loaded. I don't think you can really get anything else on it. And the destination charge of 1195 uh, brings this one to $53,395. So to conclude, there really is a lot to like about this Atlas Cross Sport. I think the two biggest reasons you would probably buy this vehicle is because you're getting style that's usually reserved for a luxury brand. You know, this is the type of look that uh, a lot of uh, German luxury cars have, but you have this in a mainstream Volkswagen. And secondly, you have a ton of space. Even though this is a two row model, you carry for most of the space from the three row Atlas, which definitely is a very strong thing. So overall, those two things put together, I think are really appealing reasons to take a look at this cross board. Well guys, that's going to wrap us up for this in-depth review of the 2021 Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport SEL Premium. Really appreciate you watching this video and if you made it this far, hopefully that means you enjoyed watching or at least found it helpful. So if it was either of those two, be sure to pay us back by hitting that subscribe button down below. It's completely free. Don't be a bum. Please do it and also tap that notification bell as well. We'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.